We're now in the third video of this tutorial series, and I left off in the last video saying with um, working on the hands, and we'll be carrying on with that and having a look at the thumbs. First off, we'll look at what I've done in between videos, and as I said, I moved all of the joints in line with the joints of the mesh, and there's still a little need to do a little bit of rotating on the pinky and the index finger to get the our, the rigging to match up with the mesh. But first off, we're going to deal with this thumb because it's still way out of line. So like before, we'll work on both sides of the model. Selecting the same points on both sides. Use the size option to move that out a bit. And the grab option, limiting to the Y axis so it can only move up and down. And place that there. And I believe I'll size in a little bit just to get that a little closer. And then we'll move on to the next joint. and grab that one along Y and size it in a little bit perhaps have a look in wireframe to see what we're looking at and that looks okay so I'll go over to the fingertip now and size that one in until it's more or less in the tip and on the fingertip I'm also going to grab it and move it up and almost out of the thumb a little bit and the reason for this is I would like a nice curvature to this thumb and this curvature is particular to the thumb when looking from the top view and the reason for that is because it was rotated by 90 degrees in comparison to all these other fingers the thumb is on a right angle to them more or less but for my model it's on a right angle to them from the front view the same curvature will apply to the fingers you see in a side view the thumb is very straight and that's going to facilitate the mechanism that I'm going to use to operate the fingers with and the same requirement for the fingers in the top view I need these very straight and very in line with each other not with the grid or anything else just with each of the armatures and sections of this rigging anyways we're now going to lower the knuckles into the hand a little bit. So I'm going to use box select to pick things up a little quicker. Select those, this, and that. And deselect this one because I forgot about it. Go over to the other hand. Zoom in. And deselect that again. And select this that and these look at it from a uh, front view zoom in so we can see a little better grab it along Z and bring it down and we don't want to bring it down by too much or too little and I think that should be good but of course, as all things, that can be adjusted a bit. And really, I'm going to do it this way for the sake of time. But the possibility is also there to adjust for each finger to give them more proportionate heights. But I'm 
actually I'm just going to skip that part because I don't think it'll prove to be too important for for my model. Now I'm going to do the fingertips and try to speed up a bit here so we get more into a video. So I'll select all the fingertips look at them from a the front view, grab them along the z-axis and drop them down. I'm going to drop them quite far into the into the mesh. Go back into solid mode with x-ray so we can see that and what that's done is started the curvature and it may be a little bit pronounced but that's okay. Now I'm going to select the last pivot or the first pivot against the hand in each finger. So I'll select all of these right up against the hand's knuckles and do that on both sides. return to a front view, grab them along Z and dip those a little bit. Now my bones are inside of the mesh and also have the curvature that I was looking for and that's going to help facilitate the mechanism for them closing. So I'm going to cut out of my video now and check on my time and see how much time I have left. Well I have about three minutes left in this video, that's enough time to do one more operation. So I've selected the three bones of the index finger on both sides of the model and I need to move those so they're better centered onto the knuckle. So I'll grab them and move them along Y. That way it's a little better centered here. Now I'm going to select the first rotation point and snap my cursor to that selection change my cursor to 3D cursor so that my rotation will be around the cursor. Select the three bones and rotate them. I'll try by five degrees and that looks great. That worked good. So I'll call that good and I'll go over to the other side of the hand. Again, I'll do the same thing. Snap my cursor to selection, select the three bones, and rotate them by five degrees. And that's about all I can do in this video. I'm going to repeat this, a similar process or the same process for the pinky to line it up a little better. And I'll come back in the next video and we'll start putting some mechanisms to get these fingers moving. So until then, happy modeling.